Hello everybody, I don't see anyone on yet, but I started early in case I ran into trouble. <laughs> oh, hey Mark, hi! <laughs> I'm like, I uh, thought I better start a little bit early just in case something happens, because you know Facebook is never... Hi Beat! Facebook is, is never predictable, <laughs> that's for sure. And here's my little bits here. Welcome everybody. Welcome. Oh, it's going good, Marg. I hope things are going good for you too. I'm uh, excited to get back at it and nervous at the same time. Hi, Joanne. So I'll just wait another minute. Um because I did start early, so people probably weren't ready for me to start early. Hi, Laura. And I hope I do justice to the Inspirational Thursday crowd. <laughs> Hi, Linda. Okay, so, um, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Sandra and I'm new to Class Act. This is my first uh, live video for them, helping them out while they're, when they, while I can. Um, hi, Sandra. Great name. Hey, there you go. <laughs> um, so I will be doing a few inspirational Thursdays. I'll be helping them with, I'll be doing some class kits. Um, I did do one in September and that's already sold out. Um, which is awesome. Thanks, Joanne. <laughs> Hi, Kim. Hey, Linda. Welcome, welcome. Um, and then I'm also going to be helping out at some of the crops. So uh, the crop that's coming up on Saturday is the party time crop. I will be doing one of the free make and takes um, that you can do there. And apparently you don't even need to be part of the crop. You can just come and do the make and takes which is awesome hi judy i recognize you and i recognize oh, oh hi i think that's bella right annabella is bella hi bella hi hi laura so i'm very excited to to get going here so uh very excited to be back at it i've been um i did uh do this before for another um another store and then it was just a crazy time in life and so I had to step back and now life's not so crazy <laughs> oh good <laughs> hi Yvonne I recognize your name too glad you guys are tuning in um, and Yvonne and Judy I'm glad you guys found class act uh, they're a great little store here in Oshawa and uh, I only live like 10 minutes away from them now which is pretty dangerous hey Lori you made it yeah <laughs> Lori was worried she wouldn't wouldn't make it, but she did. Yay. Okay, so what I'm featuring tonight in Inspirational Thursday is um, this fun um, Hampton Arts stamp set. Oh, the light's glaring on it. It's a beautiful butterfly and um, with words. And then you get you get the die too. And I think it's like you're lucky if it's like $18 or something. It's really, really um, like a really great price. I'm also going to use some of the Class Act uh, shakers. This one's called Flower Child. So they've got some fun. We're going to make a couple shaker cards. Oh, awesome, Judy. Hey, you made it, Karina. Kicked Rob to the curb, right? So that's an up birthday party. <laughs> I'm going to show some... Um, I'm going to use a little bit of the Lunar Paste by Simon Hurley. This one is a Gold Rush, and I'm going to use some of his ink. I'll use some Tim Holtz ink too, and I'll just... And then I do have one sheet of paper that I also used. Um, it's Simple Vintage Berry Fields. Um, so I use the blue side. I really like the blue side of it. And, and on the other side is that blue rooster with the, some other stuff, but I use the blue side. So, okay, so let's get going. 
no oh and you can find all of these things if i'm not mistaken you can find them on um our website classact.ca if you click shop now and go to inspirational thursday the items should all be all be listed in there okay and then i made up some cards that were are totally done that i'll show you because you don't need to be sitting here watching me make a bunch of cards all night right <laughs> well maybe you do i don't know um okay so my first card um what i did was this is gonna bug me here i stamped my um butterfly and see him I stamped it in Versamark ink and I embossed him with black ink. So he's got a little bit of raised, um, he's, it's a little raised. I was going to color him in and I did color one in and I didn't like the way it looked. So, and then I also just like the way the black and white looks. So I thought, well, I'll just leave it as black and white. So I've got my card base, which is eight and a half by five and a half. And I just folded that in half. And this is, um, Nina paper. Nina 100 pound cardstock and then I cut a piece of the berry fields that's four by five and a quarter and then I have just a piece of organza ribbon that I have in my stash which probably everyone has in their stash right so I'm just going to take that I'm just going to wrap it around the bottom of my card I'm just going to tie it in a little knot like so and I'll get my little Tim Holtz scissors I'll just trim that up now I apologize if I'm talking too fast I'm a little nervous so <laughs> I shouldn't be I I do this all the time like I talk to people on the, all the time on for work so it's like this is no different right this is just talking to my friends creating some fun things um, okay, so I'm going to use some tape just to tape this to my card base. I should have a tape runner, but of course I couldn't find my tape runner. Murphy's Law, when you need it, you can't find it, right? Oh, thanks, Linda. Hi, Patricia. You need more organza stash? Karina, well, you've come, you come to my house and I'll, <laughs> I'll give you lots. I have so much ribbon. It's just not even funny. I used to, um, participate in craft sales. I used to make crafts and sell them, um, at Christmas time just to get a little extra money for my kids when they were in college. And, um, I think I put that on upside down can't really tell and um oh that's okay Patricia uh, thanks for sharing though because I'd be like well who who said I who is angry at me <laughs> um so I have all I have all this stuff from doing the craft sales because I of course stopped when COVID happened and then I just never got back into it so um and my kids are gone out of college and they don't need don't need the money anymore so I have all this stuff uh, okay so I'm gonna just pop up my butterfly and like I said I'm gonna leave him black and white because I really like how the black and white looks I could have even embossed it in navy maybe um, I'm sure there's a navy embossing powder out there somewhere I just don't have any whoops stay there Oh, it's our first live. What's her name, Patricia? And I'll I'll say hi. And then she'll get a giggle out of that. Okay, pretty simple. But that's such a beautiful butterfly and it's so detailed. Like you could take your Copics and color that in or your Olo markers, um, your Spectrum Noir markers. Um whatever whatever kind of markers you could watercolor with a paintbrush and some ink which is what i tried doing and it just looked just i wasn't even i'm not even going to show you what i did um 
because it's just too ugly. So you can leave it like that, which is pretty cool, or you can put a um, one of the verses on it, but uh, I kind of like it like that. Simple. Okay, I'm going to set that one to the side. Okay, so my next one I'm going to make a... We're going to make a shaker slimline card. Oh, thanks. Thanks, uh, Karina. I do too. I like it too. It's like makes it stand out and the butterfly is really pretty. I really like the butterfly. So, um, how many are you, of you are on the slimline ba bandwagon? Have you gotten on that bandwagon yet? They are super simple to make and they just fit in a, a letter, not a, yeah, a legal size letter envelope. Like you don't need any special envelopes. You can make your own envelope for it, whatever you like. So this I just cut, it's seven by, um, actually it's eight by seven. So when I fold it in half, it'll be um, three and a half. So I'm just gonna fold that in half, get my bone folder. They're fun, aren't they, Mark? Cause then you can like put so much more stuff on it and you can put little scenes, and I know Marg loves uh, lawn fawn, so you can put little, like lawn fawn has all those little people and all those little mice. You can put them all over there. It'll look. So you can get more on a card than um, just a regular size card. Okay, so then what I did, um, I cut out the butterfly die. I used the butterfly die to cut out my butterfly. This is where I'm going to put my shaker. And then I just... Um, cut out a piece of you can't really see that it's acetate a piece of acetate you can't see it but it's there <laughs> so I'm going to just attach that on the back with some tape and I'm just going to it doesn't have to, now when you're putting the acetate on, it doesn't have to be like right around the edges and whatnot because that's not where you're putting your little bits. This is just to hold the acetate down. <clears throat> and then you're going to put your little bits on or you'll put your little bits on. Okay, I probably put it too far, but that's okay. Okay. There. So you just want to make sure you cover the hole with your acetate. So then I'm um, just going to set that aside. What you need is, where did I put it? Oh, here. Um, foam strips. Or if you don't have foam strips, foam. You're a Fawny too, Bella? Oh, cool. I like them. Like, they're super cute but they can be really fussy for me anyway. But um, when I have the time, I, I, I love making the, their cards because they are so cute, but um, it takes a little bit of time. Okay, so what you're gonna do with the foam strip. So you need like, I'm using black. They come in black and white. Um, I like the foam strips because uh, if you cut your foam, pieces like if you were to cut this up it would take forever um so foam strips are cool you can get the foam in rolls you can use those too these are just the right height and then all you want to do is just go around um your image as close as close to i'm not going to get this very good as like as close to the outside edge as you can get it without showing through this side. That makes sense. And if you need more than one piece, you want to make sure you butt them up together pretty close so that your little bits don't come out. <clears throat> All right. Uh, I'll just show you a little trick after I'm done getting this on. Now this is super easy to do with circles or squares, <laughs> but Sandra had to be, you know, difficult and make it harder with the butterfly. 
but I just really like this like Liz said pick a pick a stamp set that you want to use and I saw this one and I'm like oh I really like that one I like this one it's so pretty You just want you want to try and get as close as you to the inside of the edge so that your little bits aren't going outside of where everyone can see them. Maybe I should have only made one shaker card with you guys because you're gonna have to see me do this again. Okay, I'm going to cut this off. Put that a little closer. Okay. Okay, so where these curvies are, I'm just going to like snip it so it's like more flat. That makes sense. Not quite all the way through, but just enough to... flatten it out a bit there we go okay I'll bring my card back now I'm not going to take this off and I'm not going to put my little bits inside here because if I do that then I've got to try and get this exactly on top and it's going to be way too hard so I should have did this before oh. I knew I should have wrote out my instructions so I knew what I was doing I was going to take this draw a little bit so I knew exactly where the butterfly was before I put the plastic on <laughs> oh well we're gonna wing it okay so I'm gonna take some of my little some of my shakers flower child shakers I'm just gonna set them on my base. Oops. I'm gonna put a few in there. And you can put however many you want. I want just a couple. You could also stamp your sentiment there if you wanted to and just put a few little flowers in instead of a whole bunch like I am. And I'm just dry doing a dry run to see how it will fit get them all on oh, guys okay I think that will be pretty good now if you didn't want all the static <clears throat> you could take your embossing buddy and just rub it on the inside and uh, that would take the static away I think I'm gonna be okay okay get out of here Nope. All right. Just that one little guy got stuck on there. <laughs> That's okay. So now I'm gonna try and. I guess if I put glue on, I could on the foam. I could have a second chance. I know what else I wanted to do. Because, okay, so there we go. Now, because this is foamed up, or like, I should have put a piece of foam tape over here. So it's even. That makes sense. But that's easy enough to do. And you could put a piece of ribbon over here if you wanted to, to kind of make it more give it more something but I'm going to put a work my sentiment over here I should have I should have threw a ladybug in there right Judy and, and uh, <laughs> I love ladybugs ladybugs are my thing oh that's so cool isn't that pretty Ooh. Okay, so I just had a, a shape and I stamped You Lift Me Up with the uh, Simon Hurley Midnight Snack. I'm just going to put that, I'm not going to pop it up because 
which is weird for me because I pop everything. I've already popped this stuff, like the base. So if I was to mail this, I'd want to make sure it's not too high. So I'm going to give this some color. I'm just going to take my ink and a sponge dauber, finger dauber. I'm just going to sponge around the edges. And this was just a shape I had in my box of, I don't know if you guys are like me, but I have a box full of shapes from all kinds of things. Like if I cut out a whole bunch, I don't want to, <laughs> if I <eat> Yvonne, <laughs> I needed to put one in there. I should have grabbed one. Oh, shoot. Maybe my next one. <clears throat> um, yeah, so I had a whole bunch of shapes. And so I'm just going to put that um, over here. If this takes me too long, I'm not going to get all my other cards done. I'll be here all night. Okay, so I'm going to just put that here. And then I am going to, I think, um, I don't know if you guys have this as a little jewel picker. It's for picking up your jewels and whatnot. I also use it to pick these things up. So I'm going to see if maybe it's probably cold. It's got a little piece of wax on the end. <laughs> it's been cold in this house. I had to turn the furnace on. I can't believe it. First week of October, you had to turn the furnace on. What is up with that? I'm just going to use my fingers. thought it, it would look cool with these kind of here. Oh, these are all the same. Cool. Or maybe all one color. Mm -hmm. Mm, I think I like all one color better. We'll have that mixture color over here. We'll put these all one color. <clears throat> this one doesn't belong. It's the same color, but it was a different inside. <laughs> okay, now I gotta try and gonna grab some glue. And a glue bead on. And of course, my glue is gonna be plugged up. I unplugged it before we started, too. This could be my first and my last, <laughs> oh, last live, the gong show here. Um, oh, here we go. This is what I want. Get that out. Okay. I think that worked. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is this is silly already. This glue was open before I started. I promise you. Whoop. Okay. I'm just going to dab my little pieces in my glue. I put way too much on here, but that's okay. That's what happens. And see if my jewel picker was nice and warm. I could just pick these up and dab it in there with that. Yeah, that actually looks pretty good. Woohoo! <laughs> I like it. All right, so there we go. You see that okay? The blurry. Ah. <sighs> Thanks, Joanne. <laughs> okay. Now I'll try not to hit my mud pile. Or my glue pile. 
So um, I don't know if you want me to watch, want to watch me do that again, but this time I cut it out of just a piece of um, navy cards. This is Admiral cardstock, and uh, uh, again I have a piece of acetate. So this time I think I'll put it on with this glue pile I have here. Fun, fun. I hope everyone had a great long weekend. It went by so fast. <clears throat> My daughter lives in Ohio, so we went down to see her, so that was nice. It was cold there, too. Oh, come on. Okay. All right. So that, that worked. And again, I'm going to get my strips. Now, if in normal times, I would wait until this glue was dry before making your shaker out of it. But um, sense of time here, I don't want to keep you guys too long. So I was watching the pros. And how long they did it so I didn't want I don't want to keep it too long. Bella and I was watching Liz and I watched Carol's some of Carol's from a while ago and Diane. Awesome, awesome ladies. Okay. Uh, get that off. Let's do a couple little snips. So it just gives you a an idea of what you can do with that stamp and with the die. And then I'll show one more card. We'll make one more card together. Ooh. Just about forgot to put this on. Again, this is that Berry Fields um, cardstock that I cut to four by five and a quarter. And this time my card's gonna go this way. Some fun things on. This time maybe I won't use as much. Oh, and I took my stuff off before I could, oh my gosh, before I could dry run it. <laughs> I did everything right on the first card and totally bombed on this second one. Oh, well, way it goes, right, ladies? I don't want to get any stuck. Okay, so I'm just going to put this in the middle. Hope for the best. There we go. Not too bad. Okay, and then you could stamp, um, I thought I had a sentiment. Stamp one of the words, uh, and then just cut it out and maybe just put it right here. I thought I had one. Oh, I know what I did, I did this one. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do this because I wanna show you how to do this. So this is, um, if you can see that, it says you lift me up and I took my stamp and I put the lunar paste on it. Oh, right. Exactly. Thanks, Karina. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to put this because I wanted to test it and make sure that it worked before I show you guys how to do it. And, and it worked. So I'm just going to put this here. You know what? I'm just going to attach a little bit of blue around the edges because the white is just a little too white. There we go. Perfect. 
perfect. Okay, so this is uh, made with lunar paste. So I'm going to show you how to do that next. So there's another one. Fun, fun little shaker cards. And I apologize if you hear my husband. He's in a meeting right now too. Okay, so for this one, what I thought we'd do is kind of make a background and then um, make one, one butterfly that really stands out. So I'm using um, Tim's Distress Ink, the Lost Shadow, because it's a really light gray. So and I just want a light gray to make my background. So I'm just going to ink up my butterfly. And I'm just going to randomly stamp her. Oh yeah, that's perfect. All over the card. So this is a four by five and a quarter piece of cardstock. Cause my um, card base is gonna be five by five and a half by, by four and a quarter. Perfect, okay. Then, what I'm gonna do, and it's, you're gonna, gonna have to work a little, okay, I wanna show you this. Wipe that off. Okay, so I have the lunar paste and it's this beautiful gold. And I hope it doesn't dry before I get it done. So you're going to take, um, these are like blending tools. Uh, so I just grabbed one that I hadn't used yet. And you're just going to put like very lightly, dab it in. Uh, I'm just going off of what's in the lid. And I'm just going to dab it on my, on my um, stamp. Hopefully it'll work very lightly I'm very, I'm dabbing very lightly because I don't want to get too much of the lunar paste right into the stamp and oh my gosh I gotta I should have picked a smaller stamp <laughs> I never even thought of that this, it might be dry by the time I Well, we'll see what happens, right, ladies? Okay. And then I'm going to just, I'm just going to stamp it right in the middle. Pray for the best here. No, oh, not too bad. Whoop! It was a little dry, but not too shabby. I think I missed some here, but that's, I don't know, that's kind of cool. I'll just kind of, I thought I would just show you that when you want to, that technique because uh, I took a class with Simon Hurley and he showed us that and it totally blew me away. And you'll want to clean off your stamp right away because otherwise that'll just dry on there and you'll never get it off again. What I should have did was stamped it on its own and then cut it out now that I look at it but that's what this is all about trial and error right showing you what you can do and how to do it better yeah it's like and then if I put it on my card stock or card base and again you could like put ribbon on it or like whatever actually that not too bad. I put a lot in the middle and it was kind of gloopy. Cool, huh? So you want to let that dry. It's probably dry. It doesn't take long because I didn't use a lot. Okay, so then let me just show you some of the other ones I made, I finished. 
Um, okay, so you know from this one, I cut out this butterfly. So I made this card with that butterfly. And this I just cut a little bit in there. And then I took my tweezers. Took my tweezers and just took my um, printed paper and just twisted it back to give it a little, I don't know, something, something, you know, just like that. And then I just added some um, flowers here. I was going to add them up here if you see that shiny glue there, but it didn't look right there, but they look right there. <laughs> I added some ribbon and uh, Bob's your uncle's. That's what I did with that positive that came out of the here. And this is what I did with the negative. And then um, from this one, I cut out another one as well. And I made this slimline card. Now this one, what I did was I took um, the Simon Hurley Midnight Snack ink. And I used my blending brush and brush did it all over the whole base, card base. And then I took a little spray bottle of water, spritzed it, and that's how you get that kind of like, it looks like um, stars in the sky, right? Kind of looks like stars in the sky. And then around each of the butterflies, I took uh, my paintbrush and my Simon Hurley Lunar Paste, and I just painted the gold all the way around the edges of the, each butterfly and around the edges of the lip you, lip, you lift me up. It looks fun. So there you go. That is what I did with this fun stamp set. So you've got some great ideas. Again, if you want to purchase this stamp set or anything you've seen me use tonight, um, you go to classact.ca, shop now, at Inspirational Thursday, and uh, you'll see almost everything that I've used, right? <clears throat> and this one. Except for the, the uh, Lost Shadow. I didn't know I was going to use that until tonight. <laughs> Sorry, Liz. <laughs> All right, so um, that is everything for me for tonight. Uh, that didn't take as long as I thought it would, which is awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed my first Inspirational Thursday. I will be up next Thursday as well. Um, I believe I'm going to show uh, how, how to do the wax seals. Some different things with them again if you're in town or close to town um, the party time crops happening t on Saturday from 10 to 4 uh, the make and takes go from 10 to 2 and I think there's like three or four and they're free so and you don't have to be participate in the crop um, if I'm not mistaken it's to celebrate class acts birthday because they call it party time crop I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, um, but Bella can correct me if she's still watching. So, oh, thanks, Yvonne. All right, um, thank you again for tuning in. I appreciate everyone participating and like commenting and saying hi and tuning in. I totally appreciate that. And until next time, happy crafting. <laughs>